what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video you will learn how temperature and frequency affects the tire behavior so without spending much time let's start now tires are the elastomers and they show the property called viscoelasticity elastomers are the long chain molecule note that in metal the deformation takes place due to the lattice deformation as you can see in this figure the bonds are getting displaced the lattice is changing so the deformation is happening but in long chain polymers the deformation takes place without the change in the bonds as you can see in this figure we are having a long chain polymer of length of l1 when we stretch it then we get the deformed polymer with a length of l2 you can see this without the change in the bonds so here in this deformation the entropy is decreasing and we haven't changed any bond but the deformation is taking place in the long chain polymers now let's see the effect of frequency on the interaction of these long chain molecules okay what actually frequency mean basically frequency means that at which rate you are compressing and expanding these long chain molecules if you are doing it very fast then you are at the high frequency if you are at doing at the slow rate then you are at the low frequency when you are at low frequency then there is some time between the compression and the expansion due to which the molecule regain their shape okay and the tire behave as a spring at high frequency the rubber don't have enough time to regain its shape so they behave as a stiff material at moderate frequency the tires behave as the combination of the spring and dashboard that is they behave as a viscoelastic material and uh, this is the range where the tire are generally operated as you can see in this curve this curve is between the modulus and the frequency at low frequency we are having a lower modulus and the tire are behaving as a spring at moderate frequency the tire is behaving as a spring and dashboard combination at the higher frequencies the tire is behaving as a rigid or the stiff material with the highest value of modulus okay now let's see the effect of temperature note that the frequency and temperature are inversely related they are related by the wf equations okay the full form of wf is william landley ferry equation this equation shows that the frequency and temperature are inversely related fine now high temperature aids the molecules to regain the shape and the tire behave as spring this is similar to the behavior at the low frequency at low temperature the molecules are not able to regain the shape and behave as a rigid or stiff material this is similar to the behavior at high frequency at the moderate temperature the molecules behave as the combination of the spring and dashboard here the tires are generally operated okay as you can see in this curve this curve is between the modulus and the temperature at the lower temperature the modulus is the highest and tire behave as rigid at moderate the modulus is moderate and the tire behave as a combination of the spring and dashboard at the higher temperature the tire material behave as a spring with the least modulus okay so this is how the frequency and temperature affects the modulus of the tire and its behavior now let's see the curve between the energy loss versus frequency on y axis i am having energy loss and on x axis i am having frequency in the moderate range of the frequency you can see that we are having the peak this peak is because in this moderate range the tire behave as a viscoelastic material so the viscoelastic material will have the hysteresis loss so that's why in this region we are having the peak with the maximum energy loss this is the region where the tire is generally operated now let's see the curve between the energy loss versus temperature on y axis i am having energy loss and on x axis i am having temperature this curve is similar to the previous curve as in both of the cases whether it is temperature or frequency the tire behave as a viscoelastic material in the moderate region so in this curve also we are having the peak in the moderate region of the temperature fine the peak in the energy loss versus temperature curve is tg okay this tg is the glass transient temperature below this temperature the tire material behave as a vitreous material which is the brittle type and beyond this the tire material behave as a soft material okay the cushioning type so the tires are generally operated in the moderate range of the frequency and temperature at lower frequency and higher temperature we are having the tire material behaving as spring at higher frequency and lower temperature the tire material behave as a rigid material at the moderate range of the frequency the tire material as a viscoelastic material okay so this much for this video thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to share the video with your friends and colleagues and also subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to get the latest updates if you have any queries regarding this video or any other video you can hit the comment box also 
If you want to learn more on vehicle dynamics, automobiles, softwares, you can check my blogs on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.